All right, how's everyone doing today? It's been a bit since I've done a video. And um, I've been trying to get my streaming rig going. I finally got it all built the way I wanted to. Uh, I, my distributor sent me this capture card thing, which I don't even know how to hook up yet. I guess I'm going to have to watch a review of video on it. <laughs> Anyways, I was doing some thinking about giving the best quality video that I can possibly give. And um, the only way that I think I'm going to be able to do that is probably... I've been, I've, I've been setting it up with the an MSI 3060 Ti, and I was looking at the RAM on it, and it, it's decent RAM. It's, it's GDDR6, but in order to get more information back and forth would ease the take as much stress off of the separate streaming rig it's best that I probably double the bandwidth by going with the GDDR6X memory so I'm going to be taking this out the um, MSI dual card and I'm going to be putting in a 3070 I've got a I've got a I've got 3080s I think that's a bit overkill um, I haven't grabbed no 3090s because the price is still so ridiculous. It's it, they're, they're hard to sell. Um, although they're great for miners, but I'm not really worried about that. It's, it's I don't mind. Um, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up installing this. So I was like, ah, what the heck? I might as well do a uh, a quick unboxing. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so why I'm doing the unboxing, I figured I'd probably talk a little bit about graphic cards, what they consist of, because there's some things that basically I really didn't even bother to ever look at. Um, but when, when you're talking about NVIDIA, NVIDIA is a chipset designer. They design and they make chipsets. They make the F version um, card but it's really not their their big thing MSI Gigabyte Asus they, they are GPU manufacturers so basically what happens is the schematics are sold to the board partners and from that step on they make designs of 3060s 3070s 30 you know, TIs whatever all the way to the 3090s and um, as long as it falls within the guidelines and specs of what NVIDIA's design is, they design a board to fit their own shroud and everything else. But I'm sure everybody pretty much has a good idea about that. The big thing about... I, I don't know if you're going to be able to catch all this on the camera. I've got my monitor running. I can see what's going on. And I don't know. I don't... I've been so busy I haven't had a chance to really get things set up but um get the heck out of there already. a lot of EVGA stuff going around I wish I could get my hands on a little more I got some gigabyte stuff coming though but it's a big card I hope it fits in there so basically nice looking uh, they don't give you a whole lot, so well, that's, it's almost as big as the 3080. Um, yes, this is a 3070 Ti with the DDR6X, so I wanted to double the bandwidth, and that's what we're going to talk about, bandwidth, and how it, how, how it makes a difference in, in your gaming. Um... I know there's a lot of noise. You might hear the background fan going because I had to have the heating system fixed today. And after I bled the lines, kind of had to crank the thing. And she's uh, a freaking pain in the ass. But um, okay, so we have here the EVGA 3070 Ti, eight gigabytes of DDR6 X memory on it. It has a two eight pin power connectors 
can see those with no problem. I actually, with this new camera, I was going to try running the format in, in, in RAW. Uh, or, um, another one is, that they call is ProRes. And I, I tried a, a, just a little sample video, and it basically is completely almost probably 99% uncompressed video. And just like three seconds worth was too much to even upload. It was insane. So, yeah, I gotta, I'm going to stick with the regular... Um, <laughs> The regular uh the movie either the movie format or the oh what's going on boy they really put a lot of this stuff on here okay so yeah so what we have on this is these little things always fall off there's a metal back plate made of aluminum and I can see they're getting, wow, okay, great. They got rid of the clown lips. Awesome. I never did like them red lips staring at me. I don't like clowns. Clowns at night. Clowns at night with knives. Oh, forget it. Anyways. Um, so let's do a little peel. A peel, baby. Peel. Peel, baby. Peel. Wow, they got this stuff wrapped up like I've never seen. Bravo, AV, EVGA. If really on the ball with this. Holy mackerel. People, seriously, this is like crazy. Oh, my word. I've never done a peel like this before. These are brand new cards. Yeah, I have all kinds of people. I, I, yeah, even even with this day and age with advertising online, people literally know what my price is. And I'm still getting emails, people trying to bother with me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll swap you for a bag of potatoes. Um, and they've got it perforated everywhere, so literally... I'm going to get this thing cleaned up. Don't mind me banging my head into my camera. Okay, so some improvements. I really do like the solid back, black back plate. Um, the other design isn't bad where it's kind of a what they would call a black chrome. There's a lot of plastic. I can't see. They used to put plastic on the back here too. They don't know more. I'll leave that on for now. I'm wondering if that's going to fit in there. Oh yeah, it's going to fit. So basically, what I had to do is I'll show you after. I had to do a little bit of um. Wonders what a coat hanger will do. I was going to make some like brackets, do something fancy. I was like, you know, son. I'm going to use a stand-up uh, GPU holder and a couple little pieces of wire. Put it in there. Things nice and sturdy. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. So what we're going to talk about is the way the DDR RAM works on these and your virtual memory. So with the DDR or the G, the G is for graphic. We'll just call it DDR6. Versus, I want to say the DDR6X is DDR6 runs on ones and zeros like most programs do, but it the transfer rate is, is one bit. Okay, it can move one bit at a time. With DDR6, it doubles that, and it can it has it can move two bits at a time. Now, when we're talking about bits, a 3090 with 24 gigs of RAM can move 936 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. That's what these bits stand for. So when you break it down, um, they use a method which is called PAM4, not the kind you spray on your, your, your uh, frying pan, but it's called PAM4 method. And it's how they can double up on the bandwidth now going with the X. 
So it, it runs harder. That's why people are seeing it run harder. And, um, but you're still, you, so, so the 3070, the 3070 itself has a memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second. The TI has 608. So when you're moving 36% more bandwidth with this card versus the 3060, I don't even know what the 3060 TI is. I didn't even bother looking up the stats on that. It's gonna give you a lot better stream. It's gonna give you a lot smoother stream. It's gonna allow you to stream in medium at 4K with very little, very little problems and very easily in ultra 1440. But I, I wouldn't recommend ultra in any games for anybody because I've been experimenting around with that too. And the high resolution saves you a ton of, a ton of bandwidth gives you much better gameplay and it's almost zero noticeability i mean zero the only little bit i could notice in one of the games in battlefield was looking at the water the glimmer wasn't as sharp it was still like being at the beach yourself but it wasn't as sharp so i've been kind of messing around back and forth but anyways we got to see a little quick unboxing a little bit of video information um what do we have with this anyways? So we, we've got two eight pins. It has a 12 volt four pin RG, or is this for the fan? Actually, I think this is to control fan speed. And there's a three pin five volt ARGB to control your um, GPU. We also have on here, Here it is right here, okay. We have an OC and a normal. I'm gonna keep it on OC. It's it's preset factory overclock and it's not something you're gonna really notice as far as revving out your graphics card. Um, but it will help, it will definitely help. So on that note, I'm gonna cut out on this fix some things up a little bit and we're going to be back and I'm going to change out this graphics card and you can see my hangy upside down crazy setup that I did another one I'm always doing something crazy we'll be back in a minute here we are we're back again all right welcome to JP's junkyard specials no I the reason I the reason I, I use this case is because I wanted something that would be open and free on one side I, I mean I do I, I wasn't playing it but when when I seen this case I realized that this would be awesome to put it would be vertical mounted for one thing if the cable that came with this wasn't a piece of junk normally what you got to do is set your board up in your bios when you have a standard PCIe extension uh, ribbon and you set it to 3.0 because if it's not a 4.0 certified cable, it normally won't work. And this one absolutely wasn't. It looked like it was made out of felt. And I set it on 3.0. <laughs> it, it was bad. I mean, it didn't work, period, I, no matter what I did. So I ended up putting my 4.0 cable on there and um, reset the BIOS to um, 4x16. And boom, worked perfect. So my cable was too short to be able to run it down and do the vertical mount i have a longer one i had to get like a 320 millimeter this one's only a short one it's like 200 so i couldn't get it all the way around and screwed over here with these standoffs uh so yeah long story short i was like okay some coat hangers i wanted to get this up and going because i got the board in there i've got the water cooler I got the memory, I got everything going. I figured, what the hell, I, I, I want to get the rest going. I get it with the graphic cards, they're a lot of money, and you shouldn't, you know, people, the way I look at it is on Facebook, I, seen, I see too many people on there bashing people, telling them what they should do with their money. And I'm not saying, hey, your kids should go without food because you want to get a video card. But if you can afford it, 
I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth. These cards ain't coming back down in price. It's not going to happen. NVIDIA is talking about slowing down production of, of their chipsets so they can push the price up. And I can already imagine what the 40 series is going to cost, considering it's going to be double the bandwidth. So long story short, if you can afford it and it makes you happy, it's like anything else, whether it's a car, a train, a plane, a bus, whatever it is. If you can afford it and you want it, get it. It's your, it's your money. These dudes out there telling people, don't get it. It ain't MSRP. Well, NVIDIA dropped the ball. They didn't realize when they said it's going to be $599 for a 3080 or whatever their price that they said. They didn't realize that Taiwan was going to go into a drought. We are going to have an embargo and a freaking pandemic and everything else that hit, which caused everything to go through the roof. And now it's through the roof. Everybody that takes that money, it ain't going back down. And well, it may a little, but not much. Anyways, enough babble. Babble. Okay, so what I did is Walmart carries these magnetic mounts. I really like them. You can lock them in place, screw them down. When you get it to where you want, you just give this a twist, it locks this. Magnetic there, it pushes up. Couple little code hangers to, to grab it by the lip. I know, not ideal, but you know something? For now, until I get the right, the ribbon comes in, it is what it is. I'm trying to do this without smashing my camera. Okay, so what we want to do, wow, there's a big difference in the size of that card. Look at the, my goodness. Wow, was he? Wow, wow, wow. Jeepus. Okay. Oh. Holy schmoly. And this is just a 3070 Ti. Okay, so the way I wanted to do this is this is going to go in on an angle. I've got a 140 millimeter Cooler Master fan down the bottom helping with the airflow. I do have some lifts. If you notice, this is really close to the bottom here, and it's not great for airflow, especially when you add on the filter underneath. So I've got some inch and a half blocks that these go under, metal blocks. I don't know why he went that crazy, but I guess he felt the need. Anyways, so we're going to take a six and two, and we're going to plug one. You know, EVGA, they always do this. They turn these bloody things around. You get one company has the plugs going up where the little lock is. You got another company, plug going down. They should just all make it the same. I hope I'm not fading out too much, but uh, my my mic stand is, is being used. I, I could have used a lab, but my bad. Sorry. Sorry about that. Actually, I will change over to a lav. I'm kind of, kind of bummed out. I, I was kind of like, I binge watched Game of Thrones for like two weeks in a row. And what, what a cool show. Lock and call, baby. Okay, so before I put that on, I'm wondering how. First, I know what I'm gonna do. I know I don't like it doing it this. I don't like it doing it this way, but I ain't got much of a choice right now. So, basic idea is I'm gonna get this on here like the other one was. There we go. Okay. Now, that's what it is. This one went in here on the other one. I don't want. Make sure it doesn't touch any PCB. Okay. So that one goes there. This one fell out. Okay. I gotta do a little. 
little bit of an adjustment after, but I know you guys are probably saying, what a hack. Actually, it is kind of a strange mod, but I will say strange mod, but to get my daughter streaming, I've got to get something hooked up. So we get the weight on it in the middle. I wanted to get the bracket. I seen a 45 degree bracket that someone had. I don't know if it was a mod or not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is throw the cables on and fire her up. Okay, here we are. And it booted. First try, first try. All right, so it goes to show you the the um, oh, setting up the keyboard. Why does it keep every time I take this keyboard off and put it, it resets everything up again? Okay, so Jesus, you gonna set the keyboard up three times for God's sakes? Okay, enough already. Oh my goodness. All right, go away. So let's see what we got. I did get it actually. Now that I think about it, I got it to work with the with the PCI 3.0 cable for about five minutes, and I was getting 21 frames. Yeah, not good. So let's see what we're getting in Heaven Benchmark. Now this is a 1080p, so that's pretty much the way I'll keep the settings. I know some people like, it ain't true unless it's 4K. No, it's, it's true. It's, it's what it is. Holy smoke of dandies. I was getting two something. Now I'm getting three. Around 338. I wouldn't say that's too shabby. We're gonna run a benchmark. And we'll be back in a minute. I'm not gonna let you sit through this whole thing. Okay, so here we are, we're back and wow. What a difference. What a big difference. I mean, hey, it's 1920 by 1080. That's what I'm going to be streaming in. So if I wanted to push this card to get a maximum bench out of it and run 4K, 60 frame, what, 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 whatever. Yeah, I could do that. I'm not going to. This card, you see, I don't know a lot about streaming and I'm hoping to get some help with, with getting this all set up with the OBS and all that stuff. I mean, I got the equipment. I just never had the training in this thing. But... Um, I've got a couple people that I'm talking to that are willing to get me set up. Once I get shown once, no problem. Um, but I can, I use 1440 monitors. So when I, when I stream, yes, I will be doing a pass through at 1080p. 60 that's the pass-through I don't think it I don't think that capture card will go higher than that for recording um, But that doesn't mean on my computer. I can't play on my gaming computer in 1440 or If I had 4k monitors, which I wouldn't get for gaming um they use up too much system resources and really they really suck the life out of your system. 
and I'm and I'm running a 59.50 in this thing. So, I mean, in my other, pardon me, my other one with a 30.80 Ti. Um, thinking about going to a 30.90 when I can get my hands on one that I want. But um, I might even water cool it. That that might be a fun video to do. But anyways, I know that this machine wasn't the prettiest thing in the world it, this this case isn't made to be really pretty unless you want to do like a custom hard tube water cooling in it yeah you could probably make it look halfway decent but th this this case is just for me I got a whole side open where I can work on a graphic card and my wiring and the other side is the 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 uh, mini ITX with the memory and you know the water block and stuff on it which you guys have seen before yeah I had it in my dual rig I didn't like the heat it was putting on the board I pulled it out um, the Neo Cube was a fun was definitely a fun thing to do but I just don't think it's practical if I would have <laughs> It's very tight. It's very tight. I, I would have to say, I, I, without exaggeration, the Neo Cube could be at least two, two and a half inches wider to be able to take care of the ca cable management because it's packed in there so tight when you're running a 30, 70, 30, 80, and you're running all the extra cables and and then you water cool and whatnot. It, it, it gets tight. Um, it's a wide case, but if that's what you're looking to do, run a dual system, I mean, hey, you know, Fantech, what the hell, man, make a wider one, who cares, I would have bought it if it was two inches wider, I'll buy it if it's a square block, but the way it was, it wasn't practical, the, the heat in it was, was, right off the bat, I, I noticed throt, uh, it was th th throttling back, um, which isn't a good thing, so I said, you know something, I said, John, John, <laughs> a weirdo, John, grab that other case over there. Let's try throwing a video card on one side, the motherboard on the other side, and you has got the power supply kind of sits like to the back of it. It doesn't go in no the normal way. It plugs in from the bottom of the case. I'll, I'll have to, like, you guys can all look it up. Um... Yeah, it's a Cooler Master case. What the heck is this thing? You know, something 131 something. I don't know. I'll get the numbers for it later. But anyways, here we are with a um, score of 9221 with a minimum frame rate of 61.9 and a maximum frame rate of 662.1. I have to say that's not too shabby, and I haven't even gone into the BIOS on this and set up the um, the, the the bar and uh, what do you call that, the timing bar and all that stuff, which I'm going to do right now. So uh, anyways, listen, I just wanted to touch base with everybody, drop a little bit of a video. I've got some good stuff coming up. I, it's just been so busy with this business getting going. It's been crazy. Um, every day it's something. I, I'm hoping my daughter gets over here and she starts, she, she's been practicing hard at learning. I, I don't want this to be a disaster like I've seen another guy um, that has a hardware site where he does streaming and selling components and stuff. And it, it turned into a nightmare when he tried to bring somebody in and teach them what to do. So my daughter's a smart girl and I kind of told her, go off and learn it on your own and she's gotten back to me she's doing really good with it and basically she's just going to do kind of presentation she doesn't have to be a science uh you know a science more well, science what am i saying <laughs> smack me she doesn't have to be an expert in in any of this stuff she likes the game she's going to be running the game in streams and she's going to be doing some presentations i think she'll do fine with it but anyways onward um as somebody would say, Jay, I digress. Um, 
yeah, so that's it. I just kind of wanted to put up a little something, and, and now i got to edit this out and cut some, cut half of it away and all that crazy stuff. Uh, I was going to do, like I said, I was going to go with that ProRes stuff, you know, these new iPhones have. I, I mean, I have nice cameras. <clears throat> I love my iPhone. It shoots almost as good as anything I have. But it came out with this new ProRes stuff in the, in the Pro Max and the Pro. And I, I don't even, you know, I get it. They came out with it. It, it looks, it, 256 gigabyte um, storage in my, and it gives me 33 minutes of, of, of video time if I was to use it. it, it it's, like I said, it's like 99% uncompressed and if you're going to use it for like sending it up to adobe or something like that that's all good and dandy and then you can reformat it down and do whatever they convert it to but for practical use like i do i mean i don't need it i i really don't i shoot in 4k and um i can go get a little more depth if i want to shoot in cinematic mode which i'm doing today and um yeah I've been talking too much, so everybody, please, out. I think it's the weekend, so it's time for Chinese food again, you know what I'm saying? Some new Chinese. All right, people. Everybody take care. Later.